Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster here on Take Action News. Welcome to the third hour of our program. So glad to have you with us. And what a great show we still have left. Alan Rosenblatt's going to come on, Dr. Digipol on Twitter, to uh, take us to our social media segment, particularly how easy or how difficult it is to collect information online, as the government has, and whether you know what, what happens when you go on Twitter, or YouTube, or Facebook, and uh, how easy or how difficult is it to collect information yourself. Alan Rosenblatt's going to explain that. We also have a uh, fascinating development at We Act Radio. We are now powered by Ethical Electricity. Yes, our radio station is now powered by Ethical Electric. It is a company that guarantees that the source of our electricity comes from renewable energy, no fossil fuels being used to power We Act Radio. If you've got a business or a home that you want to use ethical electricity, we'll explain how. Again, this is part of our Take Action News effort to remind you that you have the power to influence outcomes, not only with what you say, but also with how you spend your money. And we're spending money wisely in our electricity bills now at the studio in Anacostia. Um, a lot of folks may know I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. Bloomington High School South, graduate 1985. I was a four-year varsity letterman on the Bloomington South tennis team, the captain my senior year. And so I was greatly amused and greatly intrigued by a story out of New Hampshire this past week involving the Girls High School Tennis Championship. High school tennis in New Hampshire. Two girls in the finals, Sunday Sweat. <laughs> yes, that is her real name, Sunday and Brianna Leonard. It's the best out of three, two sets out of three, and these two rivals, they're going after it. In the first set, Sunday Sweat wins six to four. However, her fans, according to reports, were bullying Miss Brianna Leonard. They were going after her. They were yelling things. They were shouting things. They were cheering really loudly when Sunday would make a good shot or even when Brianna would make a bad shot. So the high school tennis commissioner in New Hampshire decided after the first set, we need to change locations. We need to get some of these, um, we need to get some of these folks away from this and move the tennis match to a more sort of neutral environment because the high school tennis commissioner felt that Miss Brianna Leonard was being bullied. So in the course of uh, trying to move this, he stops the match and Brianna Leonard simply walks to her car with her parents and leaves and forfeits. That's it. Sunday Sweat is notified, hey, Brianna does not want to continue the match. You have won. You are the new state champion in New Hampshire. 